Hello, I wanted to show you an application running on the Apple iPad 2. This is a mapping application. We've just finished building it. It's uh, built in Adobe Air. Fully functional um, map, map as you can see. This, this is street data behind it. Finger gestures working nicely. Um, we've overlaid weather data on top of this so in a minute you'll see weather data loading. There it is and that shows you current weather data at the minute. It's obviously a storm coming down here. Um, you can switch the base map from street to aerial quite easily. Um, performance wise it's comparable with a native app. It, it, it works very well. We've added some additional functionality to it. This is based on the ESRI ArcGIS 2.4 um, API. Um, so there's a full extent. We've got a tools button as well which adds tools for us. There's an overview map so we can actually see where we are. We can actually use the overview map to pan the main map. There's a geocoder which will actually zoom to a particular address. There is that address. There's a, there's a marker on the map to show where that address is. And then a third tool we've added is a draw tool that we can actually draw on the map. So there's a point. Let's add a line to it. Um, Actually, let's add a box to it. Let's change the color of the box to red, and then let's draw on the map. And there's the box. So fully functioning. We can add a whole bunch of additional tools there. We've actually got some nice effects, such as you can see which buttons selected in the top right-hand corner. It's actually got that uh, sort of stripe effect going. You can't reselect that if you if if you want if you wanted to. It won't open another window. And then we've enlarged all the buttons, of course, to make it easy for people to interact with. Thanks for watching.